is Kale. And we live on Kill em TV. I am your host, Kill em Castellano. Get it right. And you tuned in to Kill em TV, man. Um, let's get right into it. But first, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you for tuning in. You hear me? Noriega, NORA, Drink Champs alumni. That boy. Put out a new freestyle, man, called Energy. I think it was kind of dope. I like the, uh, you know, the beat, old school sample. You know what I mean? He did that joint some justice. His flow was, you know what I mean? It was, it was up to date. He was, he was moving and grooving. You know, it was like riding a bike. But he threw some shots at Choke No Joke, man. He said, uh, he said, dudes fold under pressure. Invited Choke and he folded under pressure. Uh. I mean, let's not forget Noriega is a rapper. So I don't expect nothing less. I'm saying I'm not surprised that, you know, he, uh, you know what I mean? He, he, he having fun on the record. Wasn't nothing crazy. You know? So I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> Um, but Choke felt some type of way He responded on his IG With a little You know Freestyle of his own Where he talked about Nori's teeth <laughs> He talked about him being a A roach smoker <laughs> He talked about him having bosses And You know All this other stuff And then he went on to expose a text message Which I really didn't necessarily agree with but you know it's 2019 I mean I don't know man dudes be you know and they and, and dude I don't know man but you know he said that that's just in case he got to defend himself this is his I guess proof that Nori threatened them or this is his proof that you know I don't know I don't know what proof it is man but you know it's getting a little crazy like you know what I'm saying let's if it's going to be hip-hop, keep it entertainment. I mean, do a diss track back, man, or whatever. I mean, he did the freestyle. I thought it was funny. You know what I mean? Like, Choke. <laughs> Choke has some... He he, he said Nori rap is still trash. He's still ABC with it. Like, it was entertaining, man. I'm not mad at Choke. Um, but uh, Nori, I mean, you know... Seem like you 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 was a little tight in that text message, man. Like you know, if you're going to throw shots, you can't get mad when somebody throws shots back. What are you supposed to just sit there and take it? Like <clears throat> you invited him up to drink champs, he declined, and that's it. Like move on. What is we still talking about? What is it to talk about? Y'all ain't friends no more. Y'all ain't associates no more. Then, you know, so be it. But, um, and Nori was talking spicy in that joint. Like, you know, he don't play politics, drink champs. He invite who he want up there. You know, he don't work for nobody. And, you know, he in partnerships with these dudes. And they doing business. And, you know, Nas interview did a million in a week or whatever in a day or something like that. I don't know. But, oh, he said, uh, he said him and Foxy. He said, since Nas, since Nas did the interview, him and, him and Foxy ain't speak. But, you know, him and Foxy, you know, he, he love her like a sister. And it hurt because he miss her. You know, I, I'm just paraphrasing the verse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have hard enough time remembering stuff on a daily basis, let alone remembering somebody else's rap. So... You know what I mean? If I if I miss say it or miss misquote it, you know what I'm saying? Don't kill me in the comments or whatever. Just put the correct word in, man. That's all. He did his thing though. I like that track. It's a nice little track, man. But um Hopefully this don't get, you know, 
out of hand and out of pocket and all of that. It ain't even really about nothing, man. I mean, Nori might feel some type of way because of the pressure that Choke is, a, is applying on, on, on dudes these days. And, you know, Choke, Choke might feel some type of way that Nori mentioned him on the track or whatever. But as Wallow267 would say, man, you hate is your marketing team. So if you hating on him, he hating on you. It's your marketing team, man. Let them do what they do. Keep doing what you do. Me personally, I'ma always do what I do. Whether you give me an alley oop or don't give me an alley oop, I'ma slam dunk it on my own. It would be cool if you gave me the oop. I give a lot of people oops. I might not never get that oop back in return. But that just let me know where their character is, what type of person that they is, you know what I'm saying? And what type of people I don't need to be around. So you just separate yourself and move accordingly, man. I find myself seeing men a lot more emotional these days. I mean, as men, we always been emotional, but we just was taught not to show our emotions. But a lot of the reactions that we have is emotional reactions. Damn, I, sh I, I shot so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? He said this to me, or he stepped on my sneaker, or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It's like, I reaction. I'm, I reacted off emotion. Like Bean said when he did the interview with um with Tex Stone. Shout out to Tex. Free the homie, you know what I'm saying? He said that, uh, you know... Styles P, he had to go back and listen to that song with what Styles said. Um, he said something about, you know, sit down and think before you grab the cannon. Again, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember the John bar for bar, word for word. But it was something to the effect of, you know, sit down and think about what you're doing before you do it, basically. But he said it in a much clever, doper way. I'm, I'm not doing his his verse, his lyrics no justice right now. But I'm just saying the point is, sometimes you got to sit down and think before you grab the cannon. So, you know, hopefully these dudes can figure it out, man. Um, I like Drink Champs. It's an official show. I think Nuri, you need to get you need to get Cass up there, man. I think he classifies as a, a legendary artist that that is certified enough to come up there and you talk about the history. You know what I'm saying you don't already had Swiss up there, what, twice? Or was it once? I know I seen one John. But yeah, definitely uh you know what I mean get Cass up there, man. Feel me? I want to see Bone Thugs up there. I know you said you tried and you want to get all of them, but you know, you it ain't like you can only get do one interview, do multiple joints. At least get a couple of them up there. Get the whole uh um and who was I thinking of? I want to see different people, like, you know what I'm saying? You, yo, I ain't going to lie. Y'all, y'all, y'all got had a lot of legends up there, man. I give y'all that. I give y'all that. I just hope that it continues with the same integrity as the bag increases. Shout out to DJ EFN, man. He official, you know what I'm saying? He the only one that... I mean, you hit him on Twitter with something, he'll retweet it, like it, show some love. He'll even respond. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, and I know that, you know, these dudes can't respond to each and every little thing that they see. But, you know, that's just love, man, when you support somebody's movement and they they give you a little acknowledgement. You feel me? Like, some of these dudes be on a high horse so high, like, you know, you beneath them. I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't beneath nobody. I don't even be following half of these dudes. Like, if you ain't gonna follow me, then I ain't following you. I'm not nobody's, you know, fanned out groupie or nothing like that. Like, I show love and respect where it's due from a fan's perspective or, you know, somebody that can appreciate the music. 
But um, I'm a man like you a man. You hear me? I got a family like you got a family. I'm trying to provide like you trying to provide. So, you know, if we don't have that understanding, then we had a misunderstanding. And that go for any and everybody. I don't care who it is. You feel me? But um, I want to see, I want to see Lauren Hill. I seen you had Wyclef. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Fugees. I want to see Lauren up there. I want to see. Um, did you have Kim up there yet? Or I don't know if y'all still, you know, hopefully everything's cool. But, um, yeah, I want to see Kim up there, man. I want to see Lil' Kim on that joint. Um, I want to see... I want to see the whole Wu-Tang on there. I know you had, you know, I know you did a join with some of the members. But you know, I wanna I wanna see everybody up there, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta y'all, you know, y'all probably one of the best podcasts. Next to um million dollars worth of game. I like that joint too. But um shout out to uh Nori and, and DJ EFM man. But also shout out to Choke man. I like his channel. You know, he be he be putting out some good content. Um, some people say he sounds bitter and a hater and all of this, but it's like when you know these dudes personally, it's like you're not a you no longer you take yourself out of the fans' perspective. Yeah, you know I mean, and you get to know this person for the person, and you have a different understanding. So you as a fan looking in, it's like oh he better he he mad he a hater he didn't make it. Oh, I didn't have situations that I turned down. That it's like I don't I don't want to go that route. Yeah, I could go this route and be like the rest of them, but I'm different. I'm in my own lane. You know, I do what I do. They do what they do. And in order for me to maintain that integrity, I can't go that way. Not in that fashion. So I understand where somebody like Choke is coming from. And like he said, nobody ever called him a liar. I mean, um, what's the name? Did <clears throat> Biggs did, but he was like, what did I lie about? Like, explain it to me. And if you look at the integrity, it's like, Biggs was cool with Dane. Supposedly, he ain't really rock with Jay like that. Uh, supposedly, now he cool with Jay, don't really rock with Dame like that. Supposedly. Like, you gotta really look at what's going on with these people, man. Don't just go by, oh, they did an interview, they said so-and-so, and this and that, and da 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 like, no, look at they moves, man. Action speaks louder than words. Look at how they carry it. Sometimes being loyal to a T could hurt you. I ain't being loyal to, to, to somebody that ain't loyal to me. I'm telling you right now. This thing got to go both ways. This can't just be one-sided. But, um, yeah, man. Shout out to Choke. Shout out to Nori. You know, I just... I just heard the song, thought it was it was a dope jump. Then I heard uh, Choke Drink. I thought that that was a cool response, you know. And he said it was he was just having fun, but you know, I don't know. It is what it is, man. Like I said, it's Kill Him Castellano. We on Kill Him TV, and I'm out of here.